Bill Gaddy checking in. We're going to make some squirrel gumbo. Check it out. Bulldog Bill just got back from a deer hunt. He's hungry. We're going to make up some squirrel gumbo. This has been inspired by the Chef Borte and also the great Gia Goddess. She gave me uh, an idea on the roux. And uh, I'll show you the recipe. Uh, Bulldog just pulled up. We're going to grab a, an ice cold beverage and then we're going to start cooking. All right, what I like the best about this time of year, I don't have to have any ice. I have to put my beer in the cooler just so it don't freeze. It's so cold. Oh, what is it, Bill? What is it, 28 degrees? Is it? Yeah. Even that? I don't know if you even made 28 degrees. We've got us a rolling fire here, getting ready to get our water boiling. How's the deer hunting? Oh, been pretty slow, but we got a freezer full of deer meat now. All right, that's excellent. We've got something to eat in our spare time. Huh? Yeah. Okay, this is my... I've had a lot of questions about the uh, cast iron kettle I use. It's a Texport 8 quart. I don't know what the diameter of that is. It's a pretty good size, but uh, I've had it many years. But there's a lot of different styles and brands. But that's mine right there. That's what I've been using for a long time. It's a Texport 8 quart. Let's get to cooking. All right, what we first got to do is add one gallon of water. The link to Great Gia Goddess and, and Chef K will be down below. Check it out. Bulldog's link will be down there too. Okay. All right, what I'm doing, I'm boning the squirrel. The squirrel's been cut, and cut up, and you can see... I, uh, the front quarters, I'm just leaving them alone because they're, they're hard to bone. So I'm just going to cook them whole like that, and they'll fall off the bone after they've been cooked as long as they're going to cook. But then we have the regular, uh, the back quarters and the, the back strap meat cut up in chunks like this. It makes it eat, cook easier and be a little more tender. So all I do is just, just kind of flay it off just like, a, like you would a fish or anything else and cut it up into a nice little chunk just like that just bone it out another chunk it's harder to, to try to bone out that front quarter so I think of it more of a like a chicken wing so it'll be just like a chicken wing in there. Although it tastes like squirrel, don't taste like chicken. It tastes better than chicken. As far as I'm concerned, what do you think? <laughs> oh, better I love than, squirrel. Better than chicken, isn't it? Mm, I love squirrel. It's a good meat. It's nice. Now we got to get our priorities straight. Yeah, been waiting for that all day. That's ice cold. Man, I'm a froze going down. Man, that's good. Oh, yeah. We've got a rolling boil. We're into the rolling boil. All right. Well, we got a little chunk. So, what we're using is a pork sausage, and that is a Sam's Choice pork sausage. We're using a Johnsonville. New Orleans brand smoked sausage. These are deer sausages that I made myself uh, from the fresh this year. Just made them. Uh, there's two pounds of peeled and deveined shrimp. We got celery. This is a roux. This is the uh, shrimp. Um, what do we call that? That's a shrimp. And then there's one whole onion. There's uh, uh, green onions that we put on very at the very. We put those on at the very last. And then there's garlic and bell pepper. And I actually actually added a red bell pepper in there as well. And then I have salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, paprika, and a garlic powder. Then we have some French bread. We're going to wrap in foil and put up next to that fire and get warmed up. All right, that's the ingredients. We're going to start adding them. It's boiling. Yeah. 
these are a couple of tomatoes that were right out of the garden before the frost. Now they're kind of small, so I'm going to use two. And dice them up. And I also have a can of Rotel hot diced tomatoes with habaneros, it says. That goes in right now. Boiling nice. Get the tomatoes in there, get a little kettle in there. And then we're going to add some spice. So now we add our garlic, our bell pepper, and I added red pepper, bell pepper. Those are bell peppers, no hot peppers in this. We got a little hot from the tomato. Oh, we're we're brim full. You're gonna have to cook down a little, isn't it? Looking good. This is one large onion. We would use two, except for there's one onion in the roux. So uh, since you, if you don't put your onion in the roux. Then you would put two onions in at this time. So, oh, that's looking good. I love the color, man. <sighs> so, what is that you got there? Bush light. All right. <laughs> is that good? Oh yeah. It's not gold. Near, I think it's gold. It's not near as good as my kind of beer, though. Is it? <laughs> well, I don't. I don't like that light stuff. Yeah. I, I like know, bush you're, beer. You're tougher than I am. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I like that real thing. I think. <laughs> Nothing better than a bush light, huh? Nothing better around the campfire cooking whatever yeah. it is we cook. This time it's a gumbo. A little gumbo. Sounds good. Looks good. Yeah. These are cooking good. There ain't nothing sticking. Looking good. sausages. Cut them up and add our spices. Oh, that's looking good. Man, if you could smell that. Whoa. This is that homemade deer. My homemade deer brats. Deer sausage. We'll cut them up in nice chunks. Put them back in there. Now we add our celery. We have two chicken bouillon cubes. We dropped in there. We drop our celery in. <laughs> I think it's kind of frozen. <laughs> it's been sitting on the table. I guess you salt to taste. Throw that little salt in there. He says you can't put too much. Half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Quarter teaspoon of paprika. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Yeah, that grinder doesn't want to grind it so cold. Oh, that ought to be enough. A tablespoon of garlic powder. Now there's already three cloves of garlic in there, but we add garlic powder at this stage. And we put our put our meat back in there now. 
Well, that'll add some flavor to it. It's all cut up nice little chunks. Oh. Hey, go ahead. Yep. There we go. Oh, that's looking good. Look at that color of that. anymore for me. Uh, I know it. I know it. We still got more to add. Is that it for now? That's it for now. All right, it's time to add our roux. Now this is uh, flour and uh, cooking oil mixed together with some onion and you fry it in the pan there's a there'll be a link to this how to make this down below and use three heaping big spoonfuls I think I have just enough for that if there if you have any left over you can put it in a jar and put it in the, in the freezer and save it for your next batch if you if you make more we'll just clean that up it's not hard to make, but a lot of stirring. I mean, you could buy it in a jar also, but I couldn't find. I don't find that kind of stuff around here. We're out in a rural area, so pretty much have to make our own. But it definitely adds some thickness to it, doesn't it? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look at that! I tell you, I'm cold and I'm hungry, and that looks oh, good. Oh, and that look good. And we let that cook for a little longer. It's just simmering now. It's just boiling pretty good. Thickening up a little. Alright, we're going to add our shrimp. <laughs> that was, it's about frozen sitting out here in this 20 degree weather. Yeah, it is frozen. Look at that. <laughs> Just enough. Oh. That looks good. We'll let that cook for 15 to 20 minutes. And we'll add our green onions. And then I'm going to say it's going to be time to eat. Alright, we're almost done. Last thing we do is Try to sprinkle our frozen green onions <laughs> <laughs> across the top. Let them float, he says. I guess I'll. Uh, They're floating in one frozen. One frozen thing. ice cube. Yeah, that's the difference of doing it outside. Oh, that's thickened up nice. That looks good. We're about ready to eat. <laughs> you still smell boiling. Oh, nice. Your onions are floating, though. Oh, that's good. Let's eat. Okay. Let's eat. Okay. Tell me twice. You know, it's kind of crazy being outside like this. Sure is fun. We got rice over here. There's some dirty rice. That looks good, Bill. Got the bread on the fire here. We'll bring it over. You want me to do, dip you over a bowl? No, I'll get it. Hey, we have truly been waiting all day for this. What, uh, seven? It's a little after seven. PM and of course the sun goes down around 4 now and uh, I think I started this around noon making the roux and getting everything ready to go and then uh, so I've plated it up I got my dirty rice here I have my deer sausage I have well, there's my deer sausage and this is the uh, smoked sausage and the shrimp and squirrel there's squirrel meat squirrel chunk right there and uh, my uh, French bread and of course 
What was that? An ice cold, ice cold bush beer. Of course, he prefers the light variety, and uh, I like the heavy variety. Tell me, how is it? <laughs> is it warm? Mm hmm. Oh, that's good. good. Is it good? It is good. All right. I can't hardly really wait. Yeah. Well worth the wait. <laughs> hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but not spicy hot. Mm -mm. No. Mm -hmm. Got a little got a little kick but mm -hmm. not bad. Right. Got some kick. And I'm sure if I wait about 10 minutes, it'll probably kick like a mule. <laughs> that, that sausage has some kick. Yeah, yeah. The, the big sausage. Yeah. I think it's made that way. Yeah. All right. I got to try me a piece of that squirrel right off the bat. Got to try that. See how, how that is. Mm. Wow. Oh. Tender. I'm telling you. I mean, it is just so tender. You cannot believe it. Now I got a, this is a shrimp. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yep, I'm catching a little bit of that pepper, a little of the, a little of the spices in there. Man, that is awesome. There is just a nice chunk of squirrel right there. And I'm telling you, it is just so tender, it melts in your mouth. I mean, it is just awesome. Mm, mm, mm. Man, that is good. You can't beat it. You gotta try it. Hope this inspires you. Bill Gaddy out. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> Thank you, great Gaia Goddess. Gaia Goddess. GGG. This is awesome. Now, I'd like to continue this video, but I'm too hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Gaddy out. <laughs> you thought that bite was froze solid? Yeah, I thought it was froze solid, but it was my glove. <laughs> that hole in there. Shoot the end of the finger off. <laughs> yeah, that gun thing. Another good dollar pair of gloves down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> Turn out the lights, the party's over.